Uh, good evening. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2015. Uh, we're here for the purpose of the regular meeting of the Elmhurst City Council. I would ask that you all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, um, before I ask Clerk Spencer to call roll, um, as everyone's aware, I think everyone's aware, uh, on April 7th we had an election and uh, we have some uh, newly elected folks, or at least one, and, uh, and some folks that were reelected. So at this time, uh, I am going to, uh, I'll call you up individually and we'll stand right here in the middle in front of everybody and I'm gonna swear you in. So with that starting, I will ask uh, Mr. Sabatino to meet me along with family and friends, please. Come on, family and friends. Nobody's one, Bob. <laughs> Mike. I, Mark Sabatino, Mike Sabatino, do solemnly swear and affirm, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Illinois, the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Charter of Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst, the Charter of Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst, and that I am qualified to serve, and that I am qualified to serve, and will faithfully discharge the duties Who's the son of the mention? Mr. Sabatino, you're officially part of this meeting. I'd invite you to uh, sit up there next to Alderman Bram on the dais. <laughs> Alderman Dunn and family. Pardon the voice, it was kind of a sports-tastic weekend and I was yelling at the TV all weekend. <laughs> so, and who do we have here, Alderman Dunn? Fantastic. They've been through this before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Bob Dunn, I, Bob Dunn. Solemnly, swear and affirm solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, Constitution of the State of Illinois, Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Chartered Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And that I am qualified to serve. And that I am qualified to serve. And will faithfully discharge the duties. And will faithfully discharge the duties. Of Alderman of the Second Ward. Of, of Alderman of the Second Ward. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank 
Plumsky. Got here, Alderman Plumsky. Oh, oh, gee. Okay, well, three of these people were here. Four of them were here before. Oh, okay. Hi, Jane. You ready to go? Okay. <laughs> All right. Please raise your right hand. Not you, Jane. Mom. And repeat after me. Hi, Danny Plumsky. Do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the chartered laws and ordinances of the City of Elmhurst, and that I am qualified to serve, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of Alderman of the Third Ward. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Shake my hand. What are you eating? What are you, what, a mint? Look, okay, do you have one for me? Can I have one? There's only one. Okay, all right. Can we take a picture together? Okay, come on. Stand right here. Perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, someone's hiding. <clears throat> Great job, Jane. fell. I'm going to put that right there. You need to stand in family? She's out of mints. She only has one. Okay. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Noel Toledo, I, Noel Toledo who solemnly swear and affirm, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Chartered Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And the Chartered Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And that I am qualified to serve. And that I am qualified to serve. And will faithfully discharge the duties. And will faithfully discharge the duties. Of Alderman of the Fourth Ward. Of Alderman of the Fourth Ward. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. the steps, do you? <laughs> Who do we have here, Alderman Levin? We've got my wife, Marisa, and my son, Joseph. Okay. Okay. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Scott Levin. I, Scott Levin. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Chartered Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And the Chartered Laws and Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And that I am qualified to serve. And that I am qualified to serve. And will faithfully discharge the duties. And will faithfully discharge the duties. Of Alderman of the Fourth Ward. Of Alderman of the Fourth Ward. Alderman of the Fifth Ward. Let's get that right. Fourth and Fifth Wards. <laughs> Dual duty. According to, the best of my According to the best of my ability. Congratulations.
Mitchell. All right, all done. Let's see what we have here. We have my daughter Bridget. We have my son Michael. My wife Mary Carol. The other mayor, Matthew. <laughs> my daughter Shane. Okay, wonderful. Okay, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I my conquest. I my conquest. We solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the chartered laws and ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And the chartered laws and ordinances of the City of Elmhurst. And that I am qualified to serve. And that I am qualified to serve. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of Alderman of the Sixth Ward. And Alderman of the Sixth Ward. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. You're missing one. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're having a picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Matt he had a test. test. <laughs> Matt's got a test tomorrow. <coughs> Okay, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I Mike Mike. <laughs> I, I Mike from from the eighth ward. I Mark Molliner. Do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the chartered laws and ordinances of the City of Elmhurst, and that I am qualified to serve. And will faithfully discharge the duties of Alderman of the Seventh Ward according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Okay, another round of applause for all of our elected officials. <laughs> okay, um, and before we call a roll, just a quick reminder, we do have uh, some snacks and drinks, uh, and uh, we'll have a little bit of a celebration for everybody and families uh, when we're done with the meeting. So, uh, Clerk Spencer, I'd ask that you please call the roll. Deuter. Here. Sabatino. Here. Bleeder. Here. Dunn. Here. Bram. Here. Kolumsky. Here. York. Here. Toledo. Here. Healy. Here. Levin. Here. Kennedy. Here. 
Heimquist. Here. Wagner. Here. Mulliner. Here. 14 present, zero absent. 14 present, zero absent. Uh, we do have a quorum. On to uh, agenda item two. Receipt of written communications from the public. At this time, is there anyone who has any written communications they wish to submit? If so, please raise your hand. Seeing none, we'll move on to public forum. Uh, agenda item three. This is an opportunity for anybody in the audience who so chooses to address the council on any matter they so choose. Uh, out of respect for uh, the work we have to get up, get done here this evening, and also out of respect for others who may want to speak, we ask that you keep your comments to three minutes. If you go over three minutes, I'll give you a gentle reminder and ask you to wrap it up. At this time, oh, uh, and uh, please, uh, once you are identified, please make your way to the furth furthest microphone over there and identify yourself uh, for the record, and uh, uh, addresses are optional. Clerk Spencer, is there anybody who signed up this evening for a public forum? Yes, Mr. Mayor, and we'll start with Claude Pagash, 566 West Gladys. Claude Pagash, 566 West Gladys. For all those that just got uh, taken care of by the mayor, congratulations. This document in my hand is the paperwork for Han. Interesting reading. Enjoyed it. According to the paper, we're going to have about $19 million of public funds tied up in this place. And there's a, a report in the paper we're going to put up a construction loan of $35 million. <coughs> For that, the residents of Elmhurst, the developer will give them $1.6 million. <clears throat> but we probably won't get it because there's freebies in here. Contracts that won't be bid, work will just be done. We're also going to pay for water retention. But we have ordinances on water retention. Ah, age is catching up with me. Those water retentions, that's only for residents. And this guy can build property line to property line. How do we get into this mess? I'm forking out money, millions of dollars, day in and day out. And a guy's going to give me $1.6 million. To add to the salt of the wound, what did York do to me? $16 million in general obligation bonds. And when it was asked why we didn't bid, bid those bonds separately, well, it's going to cost us $50,000. We just threw away millions. This guy can't lose. He's going to have to open up an account just for the money he's taken from the city. He could build that place out of gold bars and not lose a nickel. The only thing this council hasn't done is put in this contract that the people of this town will work for nothing. And I don't know why I should be happy. There's no benefit at all for me because it's in a tiff. And this guy is going to be coming back to this council every year and asking for more money out of that tiff. Mr. Pagash, I ask you to wrap up your comments. And you guys are going to give it to him. So don't tell me it's beneficial to the residents of this town. Tamara Brenner. Tamara Brenner. So two things I wanted to mention tonight. On the agenda, we've got uh, multiple reports about bids for stuff with the Addison parking deck. I read through all those reports, and the majority of them have only one bidder. Again, every piece of this project has been with just one bidder. Why is that? I'm really curious why nobody out there wants to do these jobs. Why are we only getting one bid or one qualified bid of all the potential contractors 
in northern Illinois. It makes little sense to me. Before it was the winter was a problem, but it's the spring now, so I don't understand why that is. Maybe you guys could shed some light on it. The second thing is, I saw this in the newspaper this week. This is really exciting. The Plass property is going to be redeveloped, and it's been advertised in the newspaper already with 3,000 to 6,000 square feet of retail and luxury condos. So it seems like this is a project for once that's going to proceed in the downtown without any assistance from the city, right? Because they're advertising this project, and they haven't asked for any city assistance that anybody out here knows about, <coughs> at least. Maybe they have, but I don't know about it. So this is going to proceed without city assistance, correct? They're not going to be having any issues with land changing hands. There's not going to be any issues with traffic changing patterns or anything. There's not going to be issues with TIF monies or zoning or anything like that, right? This project is going to go without any assistance from the city because none has been offered and they've advertised the project. That is going to be fabulous if it's true. I hope that it is. Thanks. That concludes public forum, Mr. Mayor, as far as those that signed in. Okay. Uh, that's it for the folks who have signed up for public forum. Is there anyone in the audience who did not have an opportunity to sign up on our sign-in sheet but still wants to address the, uh, address the dais? If so, please raise your hand. Seeing none, we'll move on to announcements. Any announcements from the dais? Alderman Deuter. Thank you, Mayor. Alderman Mark Sabatino and I would like to invite all First Ward residents to a <coughs> meeting at the library on Wednesday, May 20th at 7 o'clock. We will be meeting in the large meeting room on the first floor. We will be introducing the new First Ward Alderman, and we will have a discussion focused on downtown Elmhurst. The topics to be discuss discussed include development projects <coughs> planned and underway, the city's economic development tools, residents' concerns about downtown Elmhurst, and suggested projects and actions. All First Ward residents are welcome to attend, and the Elmhurst Library is not a sponsor of this event. Okay. Any other announcements? Oh, sorry, Alderman Dunn. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the uh, DuPage Senior Citizens Council is once again conducting their uh, spring chore days uh, to ben benefit our uh, se senior citizens in the, in the uh, area that uh, could use a little help cleaning up around their property. Um, three weekends, the first weekend was actually last weekend, May 2nd and 3rd. There will also uh, be two more weekends. This coming weekend, May 9th and 10th, and then May 16th and 17th, if there's any young folks uh, that uh, do have some availability those days, I would encourage them to reach out to the DuPage uh, Senior Citizens Council uh, to see if they can uh, volunteer for uh, a house or two, and uh, that would be much appreciated by the, the uh, seniors that are uh, requesting that help. Thank you. Okay, any other announcements? Seeing none, uh, that concludes uh, agenda item four. On to consent agenda at this time. Is there any item on the consent agenda that any alderman wishes to pull to vote no or provide additional comment? Seeing none, I will ask for a motion to approve the consent agenda as published. Motion by Alderman Levin, second by Alderman oh. Sabatino gets his hand up. <laughs> Clerk Spencer. Levin. Aye. Sabatino. Aye. Leader. Aye. Dunn. Aye. Bram. Aye. Polumsky. Aye. York. Aye. Toludo. <clears throat> Aye. Healy. Aye. Kennedy. Aye. Conquist. Aye. Wagner. Aye. Moliner. Aye. Deuter. Aye. 14 <coughs> ayes, zero nays. 14 ayes, zero nays. Consent agenda passes in its entirety. On to agenda item six, reports and recommendations, 6.1, Mayor Morley. Um, one announcement. Um, I will be um, working on committee assignments. I have, uh, as of this afternoon, I have received uh, committee assignment preferences from all of the folks up here on the dais. Uh, it is my intent to um, work on uh, my committee assignments. I will be contacting various aldermen um, to ask them um, questions, but uh, it is my hope and intent to um, have the consent agenda, uh, consent agenda, to have the committee assignments put forth before this council for approval on the 18th, two weeks from now. That's it for me on the reports. City Manager Grabowski. Thank you. Uh, two items. Uh, first, uh, let everybody know that 
Public Works has had the sweepers out to start clearing the low areas in between citywide sweeps to make sure that the debris falling from the trees <coughs> isn't blocking up our storm sewers with, uh, with uh, rains in and out this week. Uh, we're trying to get those clean as possible. The next citywide sweep uh, starts next week, just so everyone's aware. Uh, the second item is we're working on the downtown plan. As part of that, we have a number of focus groups uh, that are being put together. Um, an invitation was sent out to all the aldermen to give us names, so thank you uh, to those who were able to do that and those who uh, are still contemplating that. We'd appreciate the input. And letters will be going out to business and property owners, excuse me, letters have gone out, uh, for a focus group that is going to be May 12th. There's two focus groups, one for business owners and one for property owners uh, here at City Hall. Uh, so we're working through the uh, public participation uh, portion of that and uh, appreciate everyone's input. Okay. Any other reports or recommendations? Alderman Bram. <coughs> yeah, something just really quick. Uh, one of the residents spoke about um, some of the bids that were on the consent agenda tonight and only having one bidder. Uh, from the public works perspective, that was discussed in committee um, very thoroughly. Um, one example is that we went out to bid twice and the first time got no bids and the second time got one bidder. Um, so we did make every attempt to make sure that we have uh, the appropriate uh, bidders respond. Um, and in some cases we uh, are trying to even tap on their shoulders to make sure that uh, they're aware of the opportunity and, and bid if they so choose. Okay. No other reports. Move on to other business. Any other business? Alderman York. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, a couple things. Um, uh, first, I was wondering if maybe the city manager could give us an update on the strategic planning. Um, I'd like to maybe see what's on the docket for that. But first, what I'd like to do is just uh, take a moment and um, thank the um, Public Affairs and Safety Committee and city staff for their hard work on item 5.11 tonight, which was the purchase of the ladder truck. Um, as most of you will recall, I brought this subject up under budget discussions, um, and I think we made um, a great um, decision in positioning the city to um, move forward with uh, a, a new reliable piece of equipment that'll serve us well into the future and gives us the opportunity to explore further um, uh, efficiencies when we're um, considering the purchasing of additional equipment to complement it. So I'd just like to say thank you to the committee and thank you to city staff. Okay. Any other business? I'm going to answer this question. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Alderman York. Uh, in, regarding the strategic plan, the consultant sent me the ranked goals uh, as put together by the City Council. Uh, Mayor and I have been talking about when we could present that. Uh, we're coordinating with uh, Greg Kuhn, our facilitator, and we're, we're considering next Monday evening as a committee of the whole to meet and discuss those. Uh, I'll be contacting the alderman to make sure that you have availability, that availability since we weren't going to have committees, uh, that perhaps we can do it that evening, have a, a good discussion about uh, where all the goals ranked, and uh, Greg will facilitate some conversation on that. So soon. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, any other business? <laughs> Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Alderman Sabatino with the motion. <laughs> Alderman York with a second. All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you. Aye.